Hey guys, it's Eli. And Cole. We're back mm -hmm. with another world's best live performance. Yes. It's Dana Leah, Stone Cold. Rocks the world's best battle rounds is what it says. So I'm assuming she's doing the Stone Cold Steve Austin WWF intro song that he walks into the ring now. <laughs> okay. Singing that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> probably not. Probably not. Um, That's probably the that would song. be awesome though. Um, I don't think I know that song, or I don't know the name of that song. Yeah, I mean, it was I might know been a couple, it's been like five or six years, I think. Oh. Um, so here's the deal. I didn't know about her, mm -hmm. so I don't know if she was already famous or not, or if this is somewhat new for her, but I saw her on an interview. It was like on The View or something. I didn't know anything about her. She was just came on the show that I was watching, and they were like, she's from the world's best, and she had the same, uh, the same translator as Dimash with her. And I was like, oh, but she spoke perfect English and she was very well spoken. And it was, you know, it was a really good interview. She did really well. She's very like adorable answers to stuff, you know, mm -hmm. and neither of us have heard this song or heard her sing before, but I I've heard the song, but I haven't heard her sing it. Um, oh, we haven't heard anything from her. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she did make it through the okay. round. So she is continuing. So we could end up with a head-to-head -head combat between two Kazakhs. We could have Dimash and Danalia. So keep that in mind when we're watching this, who is going to win in that. Or it could be a situation where she goes up against the TNT boys, who mm -hmm. we've also done a few reactions to. I can see the TNT boys being up there. Yeah. And the winning. Yeah. and But they might also might be like, which Kazakh will win? You know? Oof. And I kind of feel like because of the way the um, battle rounds are lining up, I feel like they're going to try to get like only maybe one or two singers in the finale. I don't think they're trying to have like a bunch of musicians and singers in the finale. Yeah. They don't want like, to be dominate. too monotonous. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, let's listen. Let's see if Dan, Dan Alia, we did not hear her first. We Maybe we should have started with her first one, but. Oh, well. Uh, oh, well. We're we listening to her battle round. Backtrack. Yeah. So she beat the violinist. Mm. Her part is a lot shorter than yeah, the demonstration. But I guess maybe that's just how they make their arrangement. Yeah, they probably all have the same amount of time. Oh, well, she has a use. different. Uh, translator here. Judges, what do we think? Yeah, I've never given birth to a child, believe it or not. <laughs> but I feel like I'm watching the birth of a child superstar here tonight. Weird way to... Just she speaks perfect English. You don't have to translate. Beautiful. Oh, so we only get to see what RuPaul says. It's only what RuPaul says. Anyway, great singer. Mm -hmm. For such a little girl, she has a lot of stage presence. Mm -hmm. um, really powerful voice. Mm -hmm. And a really, like, emotional performance. Mm -hmm. Like, she looked invested. It may have been some kind of nerves coming through. I don't know. But, like, she looked like it was, like, an emotional emotion. Emotion. Yeah, like, she actually looked kind of teary-eyed almost, you know? Mm -hmm. And very, like, involved in the song and very invested in the song. Uh, which is what they were kind of saying about For Dimash. Dimash. That he needs that emotion. Right. He needs to get more connected to the song and to the audience. Yeah. And so she really brought that. So is she as... Maybe as vocally complicated as Dimash, no. Mm -hmm. Not in that. Yeah. That was a very short song. It was like 
minute and a half, but mm-hmm. um, but the performance I think was actually stronger. Mm-hmm. Kazakhstan bringing it because repping your country. We've seen the Mongolian country singer. Mm-hmm. We've seen her Dimash TNT. Um, as far as singers go, is that it? That's all we've seen, right? I think so. That we've and seen. I would have to say that she's probably the best one uh, that we've seen so far. Um, we liked TNT Boys, we liked Dimash, and we liked her. We did not care for the Mongolian country singer that much. Partially because it's country, and partially just because like it didn't resonate with us. Mm-hmm. Probably because we don't like country music. Um, but I think that hers was the best, personally. Like vocally, I'll be interested to see how the how the TNT boys mm-hmm. do now that they're at a higher level. Yeah, because like Dimash's battle round song performance was definitely better than his first one. Definitely, and I feel like they're all stepping it up. Yeah, and like the other ones that we've I've watched to my own, they each run they're making it more. So, so it's not a fair comparison. Yeah, I don't think it's a fair yeah. comparison to That's say that true. she was. I I think we can say that she was definitely better than. Dimash. Yeah. So yeah, once we see the TNT boys battle around, I she her this was better than the TNT's boys first one, but you're right, that's not fair because it was it was an audition. Yeah, it was an audition, so yeah. it was a different thing, and like they obviously had to shorten them. So which this was short, but I think probably by choice. Yeah, not by necessity. Mm-hmm. So and that's I think what tripped Dimash up in the first round was a being sick and b having this like shortened version of the song he's so used to singing. Mm-hmm. Like that's his top requested song. You know, every venue I've seen him live at online, that's what everybody's asking for. So he's used to singing a certain way. And then they're like, Oh, you got to cut a, like a minute and a half out of it. Yeah. So it kind of threw him off, I think. Mm-hmm. So yeah, let's, let's wait until next week to make that final decision. You're right. Yes. We'll see when TNT is come out. When, we'll yeah. Once TNT boys, because I think based off of their first performance and other things we've seen of them, mm. I could see them really doing something and matching her. Because they also are, yeah. they are also kind of the kind of people that I think they connect more with with their performing. Yeah, and they have this dynamic with there being three of them. Mm-hmm. They can put on a show, mm-hmm. you know, and they know how to. They and they have a lot of. I don't know what her. We don't know anything about her. No. She might have a ton of experience, but we know they have a lot of experience. Yeah. They've only been around for a couple of years, but they've had a lot of live performance, a lot of competition performance. Yeah. Uh, uh, experience. So I would assume she probably has some Yeah, experience. just because we haven't heard known. of her doesn't mean because we're not from Kazakhstan yeah, and we on, don't follow It seems up, like so. most people on this show have some sort of yeah, either comp... No, well... Okay, either competition experience or live performance. Yeah, experience. some kind of professional. Like that experience. contortionist girl, she was a Las Vegas performer. And I had seen that magician. Yeah. And you had seen the water tank guy. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Yeah. Obviously, we know Dimash and TNT boys have been on things. Yeah. So I would assume she was some sort of performer somewhere that probably got her recognition. She's so young though. Yeah. Like she can't be more than twelve. I wouldn't think. I wouldn't think. Um, maybe she could date a TNT boy. Imagine power couple. Power couple. Which one would she date? I think that Which Francis would be too much for her. I feel like... She po- seems... No, she seems like... From the interview I saw, she seems like a very humble and kind of like quiet girl, but well-spoken and she can hold her own. So I think she could handle... I think it would be good that he's so outgoing... He could really run the conversation, but she could still get in her, you know, her words. Mm-hmm. I think that's the one. I don't. I don't see from that one because I know everything about her from that five minute interview. Yeah. I I don't think she would go with the quieter boys because she's quiet too. I but I feel like she would be less intimidated by them, and so yeah, she would. But that's okay. They can be. You can be intimidated by somebody. Yeah, I know. I just feel like if she's gonna like. Matchmakers. Meet one of them. You heard it here first. Like I feel like she would. They would. Like I feel like her and Francis would complement each other better. Mm-hmm. But I feel like she's more likely to deal with one of. He's the, the only ones. one that would ask her out. True. Well, no, no, I don't know. Maggie. He seems. Maggie seems quiet, but like confident. Confident. Whereas yeah. Francis uh, would be Fra- all over. He'd just be like he's probably already asked her out. Like week one, he was like, "Hey, girl." <laughs> probably. Actually, you I, remind me of Ariana. I, I feel like Maggie would be the one to be like, "Hey, girl," and I feel like. Francis would be the one that'd be like, let's go out sometime. Yeah. And he'd then be like, hey, Kiefer, girl, I need slide Kiefer right in. would try to be like, hey, girl. But then he'd be like, hi, 
high girl. <laughs> it would be there would be something awkward. Yeah. And then he'd probably ended up being the one that got her because of like him being awkward and she'd be like, Okay, I'll go on a date with you. No, I I'm think never gonna see you I'm when she's back Francis. in the Philippines. I'm going with Francis. They're I'm both Asian. So I'm going with Kiefer. Yeah. She looked like she was more like white though. Yeah, but she's from Asia. I know. I'm just saying that she Obviously she's of Russian countries. descent or Ukrainian descent or something. He's on an island and but, she's on mainland. Asia. You could drive to the Philippines from Kazakhstan, no problem. <laughs> With one of those, like, um, aquatic cars. You're right, but it, I, my point was is that they're geographically close, but they're not. Because Kazakhstan is really, like, as close to Europe as a, you can get without being in Europe. So. Yeah, true. And most, like, not most, but a lot of the people are very European-looking mm-hmm. and in language. Mm-hmm. Ukrainian, Russian. And, but then you have your Dimashas, too, who are obviously more East Asian, mm-hmm. so, or in appearance. But sound Russian. I feel like... It's because their language. Yeah. Because Kazakh is Sounds. so Russian. Yeah. So... Okay, I think we've talked enough. Um yep. So, like, subscribe, and comment to us. Also, go into our de- description and hit the link to our Instagram account and follow us on Instagram. We post things sometimes. Yeah. Um, sometimes. So, yeah. We post when we put new videos up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... With go funny do little that. captions. Yeah, go do that. 